Hi, are you intrigued by fountain pens and those old world tradition drawing instruments? Are you curious about what makes a $5 pen and what makes a $55 pen or a $300 pen? Well, come to the paint spot. We can show you. In fact, we'll let you try the pens. This is the new pen department. It's a store within the store of our shop. Uh, join me while we take a closer look at these beautiful drawing tools. So as our tour of beautiful drawing pens continues, I'd like to introduce you to the Faber-Castell line of beautiful fountain pens. Fountain pens have water-soluble inks. This is an ink cartridge that fits in here. Although it's a Faber-Castell pen, I can put a Monteverde universal ink cartridge in there. I love this ink. It is so rich, light brown with a nice reddish undertone, really um, attractive to draw and blend your fine lines and make it into the wash effect. So using it as a drawing or using it as a painting almost. This is the Ambition line of Faber-Castell. Fountain pen, not a calligraphy tip because it's not thick and thin, it's of the pointed pen family. Um, the handle is pear wood, so a nice reddish brown uh, body. I like this, it reminds me that my reddish brown ink is inside it. Now this is on the high end of the uh, pen line for artists and of the mid-range pen for people who love pens. But it is worth it. I'll tell you, I bought this pen just because I thought I should try a good tool for a change. And it's got some weight to it, some heft. And, and I have to say, I love it. It makes me slow down. It makes me realize that my drawing is a privilege. And this pen, I mean, sometimes you just deserve something nice. Treat yourself. It does make a difference. I slow down. I concentrate a little bit better. I treat my drawing time preciously. And I think uh, every once in a while you need to splurge on yourself. So if you're thinking of a good pen, do come in and try our fountain pen lines. There's many different styles, tip points, fine, medium, broad, the weight, the balance, what the material is made out of. Um, precision tools should never be underestimated. I'd like to give you a tour through my sketchbooks just so you can see a pen uh, work. Uh, here is my brother's dog. Nice little drawing. And again, that, that ability to slow down and draw and see details was really important. If you're in the Old Strathcona area of Edmonton, you recognize the uh, beautiful clock tower of the old post office where uh, Canty's restaurant is. Quick little sketch there. Here's a combination of both the walnut ink and the Monteverde ink in an unfinished drawing. And a sketch of the Princess Theatre. Drawing with the fine pen, getting nice details, and then blending with a brush to uh, to get some shadows, really nice. If you're on um, a limited budget and you still want to try a pointed pen, we have options. Here is the Pilot V Pen, very nice treat. It's under five dollars. The disadvantage is this pen is not refillable, so it would be a disposable. Where the Monteverde, once you have your fountain pen, the ink cartridges you get six of them for four dollars. So how's that for uh, some frugal frugalness in the long run? And I have to say this pen does not leave my house, it does not leave my studio. If it did, I would leave it somewhere. So it stays at home. So if you're traveling or going out in your urban sketching and you need something to stick in your pocket, please pick up the V pen, pick up a couple. You'll want a few of them. Let's flip open here. Here's uh, some quick little sketches of my dog. Uh, this exercise is kind of fun, is how, how little can you draw? So I just focused on the shadow of this dog and left a lot of it un finished, but you can still tell that it's a dog, so nice little exercise. So this pen does a really good job. So VTech or the uh, Faber-Castell, two in the fountain pen or the pointed pen family. So while we're talking about pens, let's take a moment and talk about inks. If you're using a dip pen, you can use a permanent ink like India inks or the acrylic inks. But in a fountain pen, you do not want those drying inks in there. It'll be too hard to clean out once they dry. So save those permanent inks for brush or dip pens that are easier to clean. With your fountain pen, there's a beautiful selection of fountain pen inks. You can use the Monteverde line. Lamy has a line here. You can also get the Pelican line. Some beautiful uh, colors there as well. I'm going to show you how I use my beautiful, most favorite ink, which is the Graffon von Faber Castell. It's the hazelnut brown. It does come in cartridges, so you can give it a try. For under $4, you can get six of them. 
but you could also get this beautiful uh, perfume bottle <laughs> and, and have your ink in the volume that you will go through it once you use this beautiful pen. So let me show you how to refill a pen. So you can unscrew the top pull out the little inexpensive ink cartridge. I have dispensed a little bit of this ink into this little glass container with the lid. You buy an ink cartridge, it looks similar to the cartridge like this, but this is made of glass. You can also get them made of plastic. It has a little dial that you can dial down the little plunger. Can you see that little plunger in there? So when I turn it, it will move up. That's going to draw the ink into the cartridge, but I'm going to put it down Get all the air out, stick it in the ink. If I can do this so you can see it. So here we go. I'm going to just draw it up into the cartridge. Here we go. So easy, so clean. Pop it in your pen. If you were messier with it, you could have cleaned off the edge a little bit, but uh, it's so easy to use. Pop it back into your pen, and you're ready to go. So now you can go back to your drawing and continue to draw along in all your fine lines and details. Very nice. So here's my little dragonfly butterfly. You can go with the higher end fountain pens. We also have um, some plastic versions also made in Germany and they're in the $12 to $20 range. So if you want to get started in fountain pens or roller balls, there's a nice selection. Do come in and look at our ink charts. We can help you uh, custom make your own color as well. Here's a lovely chart. It shows you mix a bit of black in with your jewel tone colors. So you can see the blue. Look at this pink makes a delicious smoky purple. So you can customize your own ink colors whether you're drawing or writing with your fountain pens. Come in and look at our charts and they'll help you out. I should also point out that most fountain pen inks are dye based which means they will fade over time. So it's perfectly fine to use in a sketchbook which spends most of its life closed but if you're going to display your work, you will want to definitely keep it out of the sun. All these inks do fade quite quickly. It's the nature of inks and dyes.